Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on the blog chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be featuring my handy dandy memory planner. For those of you that are new around here, my memory planner is from Michaels. It is their 18 month coil bound vertical neutral planner, which I love. This is what's on the inside, which means any stickers that I use work out great. So with my memory planning, what I like to do is two things. Number one, I like to plan ahead. I like to lay down all my stickers when I get them. I really don't want to wait until that week comes, so I do plan ahead. I have stickers that are laid out into January, and here we are in November, so I'm not that too far ahead, but I do like to lay down my stickers ahead of time so that when that week comes up, I'm ready to just jump into planning. Number two is a new thing that I started because there were a couple weeks in September that there were certain days that I didn't document and I didn't remember, so I actually got the tip from Posh Plans to write down what it is you want to document on a sticky note and then you put that into the planner and then when you're ready to sit down and write it in permanently you have a guide you know what it is that you want to document because there's some days that I just don't feel like planning or I don't want to sit down and pull out all of my stickers I usually like to save that for the weekend or if it's super late at night and I'm not doing anything else but usually the latter half of the week is when I start to do that so those are my two tips and if you guys want to see more instant tips you can head over to my Instagram which is always linked in the description box I've been doing reels with quick and easy planner tips so that's that so today we're going to be talking about using leftover stickers, which sounds so easy and so basic, but I know I'm not the only one that creates a spread and then there's leftover stickers and you're like, what am I going to do with this? So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I use it in both my weekly and monthly spreads. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the monthly first. So let's go ahead and jump to November. Well, not jump, because here we are in November. So in my November monthly, I already marked down what it is that I want for the most part. And I created this spread the week of November 23rd, this is Thanksgiving week. So I created this spread using stickers from Sweet Fox Papery. If I would have used every single sticker in this spread alone, it would have been very, very sticker heavy. So I do like to leave white space so that I can write directly on the page. And then if I need more space, I will take a piece of paper and create like a Dutch window kind of situation, just a little flat for more space and also adds layers to the planner. So the stickers I had left over from that kit, I'm going to use in the monthly. So I use the deco. The half boxes I like to use to document bigger things. So I have election day here and then the Steelers and Ravens game. And then I use the half boxes for whatever else. So my nephew's birthday is on November 17th. My little baby's turned 11. And then my best friend's birthday is November 22nd. And then there is a wrestling pay-per-view on the 22nd as well. And then, of course, there's the Steelers game. So there's just a lot of things going on here on the 22nd. And that's where the sidebar also comes in handy if there are things happening on the weekend and there's not enough space for me to document it. Now, for the stickers like goals, meals, errands to clean this week, I can fill these in and pop them in during the week when I'm planning that time. The to do today, same thing. So these I would just save for when that week comes up. And then the rest of these, if there's something throughout the month other than what I know ahead of time, such as, you know, specific dates or events and things like that, I will use these to highlight moments of the month later on as the weeks go on. So that is what I do in the monthly. Now for December, I need to go ahead and do that. I have a lot of stickers left here as well. And this 
is another kit from Sweet Fox Papery and I used this for the second week in December and I do have planned with me featuring these spreads these spreads I do have spreads in the plan with me featuring these stickers y'all get what I'm trying to say so that's that now over here I'm gonna go and just add a little razzle dazzle to the sixth and where these Steelers games are I'm gonna add a little some something, something to these add the little package there and then we'll add the little holly jolly here and then like these with the mittens and the snow globe the mittens I'm gonna go ahead and add to uh, January because it's gonna be cold I don't know how much snow we get here in the tri-state but it's going to be cold. So we just using that to mark winter. Okay. Boom. And then coming back over here with the snow globe. I'm going to go ahead and put that over here on Christmas. Unless I have another cute little one. Alright. We got little Santa here. Santa. So I'm going to put that one there. Do I really care about Santa? No. Do I have the stickers? Yep. So that's why I'm using them. All right. So we're going to put that there. And then the season's greetings, I'm going to go ahead and put over here on the 30th. Does, do you guys put your Christmas tree up before or um, after? Not before or after. Before or after Thanksgiving. There we go. I usually put mine up before Thanksgiving and then that's that. So what my family has always done, it was a tradition my mom started and now that my siblings and I are all older, we just expect for everyone to have their tree up. <laughs> We expect it to be done in time for Thanksgiving because that's just how we grew up. So even when you think that there's not family traditions or your family didn't have a lot, it's the little things that make all the difference. So I'm just adding in some deco here and there. And I'm going to save the rest for that spread that I created because I may want to add something down the line. And I did rip that sticker, but it's all right. I'll fix it. I will fix it. All right. Now when it comes to creating the spread, this was pretty easy when it comes to using the leftover stickers in the monthly because I have two themes here. November, Thanksgiving, very fall vibes. December, Christmas. And then in January, I did go ahead and add this. It's going to stay there. Um, but I do have this kit. Well, this week, the 11th. This is what I did for the week of January 4th. And then for the week of January 18th, I used this kit from Gooseby Twins. And I love how it turned out. And I did a reel of this over on IG. So going ahead and starting off, I need to look at what it is that I have that makes sense to kind of incorporate into a spread. So I have these here. These were from a Black Panther kit that I had. This is from Simply Me Kish. While I wouldn't incorporate the Black Panther stickers per se, these quarter boxes and these half boxes I could use. Then I have these half boxes from Simply Me Kish as well as these. We don't need those. Those icons I don't really care about. This is from Golden Plans Co. Might use that. Um, might use these. Another one from Simply Me Kish. Then we have this one and this one. So it's just a lot of little layers that we have left here. That 
I would take these neutral boxes and incorporate them in the green ones. Not so much the leaves. I would save those for the monthly spread. So you guys, this is going to be interesting how this kit turns out. Well, the spread with these random leftover kits. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here is how that impromptu spread turned out for the week of January 11th. I have plenty of space to fill in and then add stickers as I go. And then as I was planning, I went back to some other spreads that I feel needed a little bit more. So in November, I added to this spread here for the week of November 2nd. And then I also took those stickers from that Black Panther spread and added them to the week of the 9th. And then I added a few more stickers to this spread the week of the 16th. These stickers are from A Glittery Life Plans. These are a mix of, oh, I don't know, y'all. I think it's Christia Latoy Designs and also um, Anika's Creative Plans. And then this one is Simply Me Kish. And I'm trying to see did I add anywhere else. And then the other stickers I also used were from Goosey Twin. So here is what we have left. That's going to go back into that pocket. And I'll use them and fill in accordingly. But I was able to get a whole nother spread out of some stuff that I had left over. Oh, and these boxes here in this spread are from Birch and Birdie, which I've done a plan with me featuring her shop as well. I have a few more plan with me's that are coming and I just love sharing this stuff with you guys. I hope that you enjoy it as well. But that is how I create 
a weekly and monthly, well weekly and monthly spreads using leftover stickers. I hope you found this info helpful. Let me know down in the comments section, how do you use your leftover stickers? Do you toss them? Do you put them in a huge pile? What do you do? Would love to chat with you there. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have shops I featured, my plan with me playlist, and so much more, which of course includes the links to the blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.